Well, mics like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner, Stuart Robson. And what we have coming up for you is action from Liga Uber Eats. It's Clermont Foot against Paris Saint-Germain. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. So the initial 11 for the home side. Well, they're starting with an attacking 4-5-1 formation with three players in advance of two holding midfielders. But it's important that the wide players come in field to join the centre forward at the right time. And the PSG team looks like this. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Sergio Ramos plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. And handed the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. And the match begins. It needs an accurate cross. can they produce on the flank and the goal kick is the outcome Verratti given away by Verratti well, the attack looks promising good looking ball well unfortunately he couldn't keep the shot down Just with PSG. He continues his run. Cuts it back. Well, the bar can be the goalkeeper's best friend. But that's he. Well, for power, 10 out of 10. For placement, maybe 8. Well, perhaps he thought he might escape punishment. Not the case. It's a booking.
An important interception. Bertomier. And taken cleanly by the goalkeeper. Very good reading of the game to win possession back. No danger here as he runs at them. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Can someone get on the end of this? It didn't happen for them. Sarabia. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. But then the one that goes astray. Oh, good vision. That's all they can conjure for now. Well, the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. It looks promising. Promising possession, this. Must score! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, no end product. An alert intervention. It is to be a throw-in. Gastia. Rashani. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Now the electronic board showing one additional minute. A poor cross, all things considered. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Well, it's not the usual storyline as regards Lionel Messi, Stuart. He's not really making the impact we thought he would before a ball was kicked. Well, Derek, he's looked short on confidence and he's lacked that bit of quality that we normally see from him. As a result, I'm not sure they're going to get a winner here. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Rashani. And he read it well, intercepting it. And a creative look about this. And good pressure high up the pitch. Well, putting it wide from there, a pity really. Well, as the stats confirm, the game hasn't got going so far and the attack in play from both sides has been really poor. But some credit must go to the defenders because they've dominated here today. Mbappe. And threaded through by Mbappe. players 
Rangers would have the confidence to try that. Simply magnificent. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And the chip requires such good technique. That's a brilliant bit of skill. What a goal. underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next and that's an important intervention good movement Sarabia and that's a very good parry a corner will ensue. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. Fired in by Neymar. It's gone in! Well, they're really in the mood here. Can they be stopped? Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area, and it ends up with a fairly simple finish. Certainly not much the goalkeeper can do about that. do from here but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end and attempting the through ball and the referee says penalty well there might have been a case for a yellow card but the referee didn't see it that way well Derek it's a foul yes a penalty absolutely but for me it's not a yellow card the ref has got that right from the spot well as you can see the keeper makes no effort in the end he was hoping it'd be struck down the middle but it's an easy finish really minutes remaining now Ogier Bertomier oh he's given the ball away incisive pass from Mbappe Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal.
start the game, and only one team in it. Sarabia. Can he take advantage? Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of their performance. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But when he shoots, I expect him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. Gastia. And on the ball, Bertomier. It's a good looking ball in behind. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. A glut of goals. 5-1 it is. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Substitution it is for PSG. Gastia. Elbasan Rashani. And the referee has deemed that an additional four minutes are in order. Shown inside. Simba another pass over hit and under pressure that was a fine claim can he put it in determined defending and that will do it for this game anyway and it goes into the history books as a victory for Paris Saint-Germain what did you think of their performance? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. The thing about Lionel Messi is we expect that he'll take games by the scruff of the neck, and he's done that this evening. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today, and of course he scored two really good goals.